And we're back, and we're going to be going over oscillator combinations and sub-oscillators. Uh, so what does that mean, oscillator combinations? Why would you want to do that? Um, you do that a lot. Um, you create, when you play the guitar uh, and you pluck the string, it's not just a sine wave. It's not just a string vibrating. Well, it is, but it's also creating um, uh, upper harmonics uh, with multiple uh, waves and you're creating you know a unique timbre and that's what you're doing with synthesis you're uh, combining different things to create unique sounds um, and we're going to be doing that right now so uh, what I'll do is I'll just do something very simple so we have a saw um, which isn't you know unique by itself you know uh, but what I will do is say stack it up with another one using the oscillator one and two balance and that doesn't sound too as interesting I put them together but they're in the same key uh, so what I'll do is I will double it to create an upper harmonic so how you double that well you have to remember that uh, an octave is 12 semitones right I can, you know, do something uh, very progressive housey. I'll go an octave down. Right, or I can go a full octave, so the upper harmonic is there, and they're uh, in the same key. So one is, if I play C, uh, the, this, the other one is in C, but an octave up. And you can see it. Right? So, that's all well and good. But, what I want to do is add a sub-oscillator. Uh, and it's basically how you add meat to a track. Um, the sub-oscillator is selected here. You can have a square wave or a triangle. I'm going to go square wave. Uh, and I'm going to bring the sub oscillator up, and the sub oscillator is uh, automatically two octaves down. So it's like an it looks like an automatic thing that adds low end, and here it is. Right, and that that wave shape in our oscilloscope here looks a lot more interesting than just a simple sine wave and we're combining all of our fun stuff here so instead of using uh, two square waves or two saw waves I'm gonna change the second one so the upper harmonic or the the upper oscillator uh, is a square so it completely changes the sound and I can morph between them uh, on this particular synth. all subtractive synths are basically the same I'm creating something unique. I could take the sub oscillator out. Not as exciting. And this is this is a, the base building block of all your sounds. Uh, you wouldn't leave it at this. You you know you'd have a filter. You'd amplify it. You'd uh, saturate it. Uh, maybe add some unison. It's up to you. Um, and oh, I'll sh I should show you what pulse width does. Um, remember when I said the pulse width can add a lot of neat upper harmonics? I'll turn these into the same uh, key, so they're the same root key. Right? That might sound a little bit interesting. Uh, I'll move the pulse width over so you can hear what that sounds like. So what did that do? That made my wave more interesting so what it did is it added some neat stuff to this area and uh, this area up here so it's not just a simple like uh, saw um, it has uh, a sub oscillator below it which is a square I can also change it to a triangle if I wanted to um, and the pulse width is adding some really cool stuff um, where it changes. So you're adding like cool upper harmonics and uh, that's
basically what you do when you synthesize. You just, when you're using a synthesizer, you want to create something uh, very interesting. Uh, and, you know, y you wouldn't stop there. You could do some other cool stuff, like you can stack uh, the, uh, the, the oscillator, stack your voices with something called unison. <laughs> So now we're, we split it, we basically copied this synthesizer and detuned it slightly. Well, not slightly. And you can go all the way up to 8, which is... And you can create some really cool sounds, and it's all, it's all combining things. Um, I just wanted to show you Unison because I'm a fan of Unison. But that all starts from just a simple song. Right, created something more interesting by combining it with a, a pulse, right? And then adding a sub oscillator. I'll have it a triangle so it has more bass. That's how I play synth, and that's how you can too. And that is uh, oscillator combinations and sub oscillators. Uh, basic, rudimentary oscillator combinations. All right. Hope you learn stuff. <laughs>